in the small town of Hornell, New York, inside this 137-year-old shop. Where we are now is essentially the beginning of the passenger vehicle production line. And it's where the fastest trains in the Western Hemisphere are being born. These are Amtrak's new Acela trains, the design based on the French TGV, famed for going fast. It starts with the car shells, built in Italy. Then, piece by piece, window by window, they come together. The cafe car is by far the most complicated. You have a significant amount of equipment that needs to be installed, a very precise fit. The almost $2 billion electric train. This is a very labor-intensive process. Is Noah Hewlett's baby a complicated baby? Harder than building a car. Cars don't have any toilets. Our trains have toilets. So the complexity associated with that certainly drives the time to build and assemble. Alstom, the French manufacturer, is promising a smoother ride because of this wheel set and that airbag. The whole train moves in a more fluid motion, with each passenger car pivoting on that wheel set. Right now, Acela cars act more like blocks coupled together, moving independently. So more side-to-side -side sway. At the front of the train, with the nose cone off, you can see bumpers of sorts for crash protection. Inside the locomotive cab, a look at what the engineer will see. The new Acelas are faster and will carry 25% more passengers. They are roughly 20% more energy efficient. They're about 30% less in mass. So a significant change in both energy consumption and overall weight, which leads to a leaner, faster, more efficient car and train set. They are replacing Amtrak's existing Acela fleet, more than 20 years old and at the end of its life. The trains run between Washington, New York, and Boston. The new Acela has a top speed of 160 miles an hour, up from 150, but only on a few stretches of track. Given the Northeast Corridor's age, geography, and traffic, a mix of fast trains and slower commuter ones. In Hornell, inside the new Acelas, a transformation to this. Ready for passengers, but not quite. The trains are two and a half years late entering service. They'll now debut in the fall of 2023. There is quite a bit of uh, modeling that has to happen, simulation, and then the testing both uh, with a, the prototype and production units. So I think to the, the passenger uh, that's going to be riding the trains can feel well assured that we've uh, developed a, a safe train. From when they step on this platform extender, filling the gap, passengers can expect changes. Reading lights in the seats more power plugs, more information signs, a bathroom with touchless features, and that new design cafe car. Higher speed trains are coming to other parts of the country too. In California, work continues on high speed rail up the center of the state. In the Midwest, some Amtrak trains are upping their speed in corridors like St. Louis to Chicago. And in Florida, a private operator already runs trains between Miami and West Palm Beach, and soon across new tracks into the Orlando airport. Brightline, the operator, says it's the first privately funded new line of its kind in more than 100 years.